Hello guys, welcome. I'm Vincent Obita and today we are going to tackle a new scenario uh, station, a uh, new scenario for the new OSCE and this is a sideline station uh, under the under the category of evidence-based practice scenarios. There's the portion of, uh, of uh, female uh, myocardial my, myocardio infarction scenario and in this case you are provided with a scenario then an article summary and you are supposed to make some notes on the same on how you would um, you would give such a patient an advice or what is expected you of you in that case these are silent stations so you will make some notes and that's the notes those notes uh, what the assessor will use to check if you are able to use evidence-based practice in providing your care. So I'll, I'll uh, give you, I'll read a scenario which I've made up and uh, kindly listen to it carefully because it is from the scenario that we are going uh, to make uh, some notes on the same and it is the notes that the assessor will mark. So in this case, I'm having... Um, I'm having uh, a case here, uh, a patient by the name Josephine Jones, who had who was attended a coronary care ward after a suspected heart attack. She wasn't aware that this had happened as she did not have any chest pain and we are supposed to explain to the patient the, uh, uh, the recent findings in relation to the occurrence so that's the scenario then below it you will be given an article summary and the article summary that is here is research studies uh, suggest that a positive outcome follows uh, following an mi are improved when recognition of symptoms are correctly and quickly reported to the medical team it is common for females in particular that the chest pain is not experienced and there may be other symptoms such as uh, nausea or pain in other areas other than chest pain uh, such as the back, the shoulder, uh, the throat, neck, teeth, arm and, uh, and cheek. Okay, It is fundamental that the patient report any symptoms if uh, if concerned, whether they are cardiac related or not, yeah, uh, uh, to the healthcare team. Any patients reporting any of the symptoms above should contact emergency services by calling 999 to get urgent medical attention. So that's the article summary. That's what you will be provided with in OSCE station now from there you are supposed to explain to uh, josephine all these recent findings in a simpler manner and in a manner they can be able to fathom them now this this uh, this is an example of uh, what you ought to write in your OSCE, okay and basically if you check the marking criteria for OSCE and what is expected of you as a candidate basically you are supposed to paraphrase and only give main findings from the content so from the article i've just read you can make some of these uh, observations and this is what you will write down in the paper you will be provided with you will state that it is reported, I, 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 I place them in four different points and uh, it is the, that's very easier to remember and also easier to capture. You can state that it is reported that positive outcomes following myocardial infarction are better when the symptoms are promptly and accurately reported to the medical team. That is my first point. Second point. Females don't usually experience chest pain, but may have other manifestations of myocardial infarction. And these include things such as nausea and pain in other areas, including the shoulder, the back, the throat, cheek, neck, arm, or teeth. Okay, that's my second point. My third point would be 
patient ought to report any symptoms that they experience, even if they are cardiac related or not. Okay, for easy intervention and prompt intervention. Then my my fourth point would be patient should report to 999 immediately if they encounter uh, nausea or pain in the cheek, back, shoulder, throat, teeth or arm. Yeah, so that they can get uh, 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 urgent attention and uh, most probably they would reverse uh, the occurrence. In that manner, you are done with that st station. It is a very simple portion and uh, most probably eight minutes and you should be fast and quick in your, in your writing. Remember, just go through the scenario very fast okay go through the article then in the right in the in the paper you've been provided with there's no need to make other notes just paraphrase what you've been given under the article summary that's what the assessor will be looking for and include the findings of the research with that one you will be okay and you would have passed that station okay with with all that that scenario and that station, you are all done and you would have just passed your OSCE. So thank you so much. Continue subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for those who are, who are always uh, following all the videos I'm doing. A good number of you are responding positively. You are really passing your OSCE and welcome to band five. Go for this OSCE and even the new OSCE, there's nothing major, there's nothing as a nurse you've never met. Nurses are very brilliant all the time. So go and uh, pursue that stuff. See you next time. Bye and always continue to check out for the new videos I'm uploading. Bye. See you later.